Welcome back to the Discover Virginia Beach podcast. We have a very special uh, episode today. We're here with Marie and Josh, the owners of Virginia Beach Winery, uh, here to talk about uh, one of the most popular subjects in all of Virginia Beach. Uh, it bridges barriers between uh, everybody that you know may not have conversations to talk about. Wine. Uh, why not, right? Exactly. Why not, exactly. <laughs> Maria, Josh, thank you for hosting us today. Sure. Very excited to talk about your story. You know, Maria, you started off in marketing, and I love the words you chose. You chose Virginia Beach. A lot of our guests, our listeners here are may not be locals, but maybe wanting to have that Virginia Beach life one day. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm curious for you, before we talk about the community aspect of your business, would you mind walking us through a little bit of your history? I understand wine and, and uh, brewery making has, has kind of played a, a significant part in your family history. Sure, sure. It is unique. Um, uh, I have an interesting um, family dynamic, and uh, my dad is technically what you would call first generation. Um, uh, so his grandparents and parents were part of the Great Migration, so they came from Italy. Oh, wow. So half of my family is Italian out of Pittsburgh, and making wine to them was as normal as making dinner every day. Sure. And so um, that's very common in a lot of people uh, my age that have that kind of um, family story. It's not as um, unique as you think. Uh, and so... Everyone in my family, at least the people from Pittsburgh, most of them make their own alcohol, meaning all their own alcohol. Sure. And so um, uh, now between my siblings and my cousins, there are three wineries, a brewery, and a distillery in operation. And, um, so, and that's not counting what people are still making at home for themselves. And so when we wanted to branch out and try being entrepreneurs, like we were already making wine at home. Josh is a talented brewer. We always enjoyed making stuff at home together anyway. So we just went ahead and uh, I already had it. My cousin already had the winery in um, the Washington winery in um, outside of Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah. And so she um, has been my mentor in this. And so we call her the mothership. <laughs> and uh, so whenever we still check in a couple of times a week and, um, you know, we share a life that's very unique that, you know, the family life, the winery life. And so that's been very uh, helpful having her. And so I, I wasn't in it alone and I had a good business partner and Josh has a very strong marketing background as well. So this is kind of like the perfect thing for somebody who's been in marketing their whole life to do is sure. to create your own brand Absolutely. and promote your own brand and your own business. Like that is the perfect and like to come full circle in a marketing career. And so um, it made sense. And we already knew that we liked the wine. And so it, we just went forward with it. I love that. And, and despite it being, in, in your words, more commonplace and traditional people to brew their own wines, not many people, at least here in the Virginia Beach area, go out and, you know, build a business and start a winery. So we're no. super appreciative and excited to uh, <laughs> enjoy your wine and to share it with the community. Um, I'm curious, you mentioned the marketing side, and I had to write this down because it was so cool. You guys have received um, a couple different uh, unique, uh, you know, just marketing uh, accomplishments throughout your career before the winery. Yes. Would you mind sharing maybe some of your favorite projects or favorite moments within a project that you were a part of that just made you, you know, appreciate the field of marketing a little bit more than you do now? Uh, I mean, you have a Webby under your belt. For what, what website were you doing that for? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The most me actually. Okay. No, I got this. The most memorable um, uh, thing uh, before we were still we were building the winery, uh, and um, I won an uh, an Emmy up in Washington. But it was a project that um, Josh actually helped me with. So, hey, Shalita, what you got there? Oh my goodness! Hey. A surprise. What What do we have here today? I have. Merlot, Hampton Roads, Merlot, and we have a beach blackberry. Perfect. Well, Want to showcase that to our friends on Facebook Live? <laughs> And for those of you listening on the audio, definitely go check out the video because we have a full tour of everything Marie and Josh have going on. It's a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Yes, please. You, would you want something or are you still drinking? I'll take a little more. And then what about for you? you want, oh, you already have Merlot? You need more? I, I, I've know. been mixing I reds. Josh. There you go. There you, there you go. <laughs> we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Thank cheers. You. Cheers. Yeah.
Yeah, so uh, there, I had a I had a project I worked on for Channel 13 here in town, and um, no way, really. The girls who code. Yeah, yeah. girls who code, and uh, um, Janet Roach was I think it was Janet was doing a story about women getting into um, software engineering. Yeah. And how it was rapidly growing, and so I did a piece of marketing uh, for that story, and um, it was one evening, and I was at work, and he was at home with our kid, and he said, and I said, I have this vision. And this is what it needs to look like. And I was like, can you create fake code to do this and record it? And he goes, oh, yeah. And it took like two versions of him doing it, recording it, and sending it to me. Wow. And then I put it into the project. And I finished it up, dropped it into my boss's inbox, and then went home. And the next day, my boss was like, this is perfect. And so we ran it. it I believe it, the story did good for the station and whatnot. And then... Um, and then my boss submitted it for um, an Emmy, and we won. That is so, phenomenal. Yeah, so technically, Josh and I have an Emmy together. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, cheers to that. Any yeah. cheers we can do. An Emmy. Yeah. Wow. That is, yeah. that is so incredible. So, like, transitioning from marketing side now to the winery, would you mind walking us through um, those early days? Like, it's the inception of the winery. Where, what, what got you started down on, uh, on Newtown Road? And then, of course... What unique experiences, um, you know, kind of add to the equation to help you kind of make yourself stand out amongst other wineries here in the area? It was very scary. I remember months of a lot of nerves and a lot of uncertainty. And uh, but we wanted to do it. And um, Newtown Road, the location there, um, well, it was small. It was affordable. It, the original idea was just a weekend hobby shop, anyways. Sure. And um, we self-funded everything. We did not take a business loan. And so we could afford it. And it, it, what people don't realize is if you're going to be making and selling alcohol, you have to rent the place where you're going to do it. And it takes six to nine months to get all the licensing before you can even try to make money. Wow. So you're paying for it, and you can't recoup that money. I don't even know anymore. I feel like we did it for under 20 no, I think it was more than that, but it was at least twenty to it's get the 20, place 000. up, at, like to get it fixed up, to get all the licensing, and and to pay for it and pay for everything. Yeah, and the insurance. Oh my I ended up doing yeah. all the the construction. He and the did dip. the original construction. You, sure. you did a lot of what's here too. Not as much on this place, but the yeah. first place I, I demoed and I did all the construction except for the plumbing and the electrical, and learned it all on YouTube and bought tools to do it. It was and put a nail it was in my thumb. And <laughs> wow, that that yeah. is incredible. Yeah, you YouTube did. Yeah. I mean, you got to do that when you're on yeah. your fixed cost, right? right? Nine months of waiting, right, to get them licensed. It's not just waiting, but also learning because you have to learn the laws. And you're not just dealing with um, one set of laws. You're dealing with federal, state, and local. Sure. So you're dealing with three different government agencies, and not all of them are talking to each other. And so, and you have to do it in a certain order. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> yeah. You have to do it in a certain order. And um, everyone was very helpful. There, there weren't like places where it was like huge roadblocks it's just like keep asking questions until you get what you need sure and once you're in compliance you're good and then you can move forward yeah uh so you know but learning that process for the first time is it can be overwhelming yeah you know absolutely. now it's not so scary but the first time around it was terrifying you know when you think of an abc agent they have a gun on their hip <laughs> They're, you know, they can be intimidating. Yeah. You know, when you think of that, you usually think of, you know, the negative side where, you know, they're scary or they're, you know, they're going into places and they're, you know, making sure everyone's complying with the law. Well, no, actually, our agents have been very helpful. When you ask questions, they tell you how to comply. They tell you how to do what you want to do and stay within the law. As long as they know... That's what your goal is. Right. That's they work what you're with you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it's like it's really not it's entry is difficult and you got to have the the gumption to stick with it, but yeah. well, it's not impossible. We we commend you for sticking with it cuz this is definitely a staple much needed in Virginia Beach. There was a lot of anxiety and crying. <laughs> Oh so, my goodness! Yeah. Well, we, we we got started. So you got started on Newtown, and then you were doing like a weekend hobby shop, yeah, right? We so we were open on the weekends. When, during the week, I stayed home with our son. <laughs> when did it finally click for you that oh my gosh, like we should do this more than just on the weekends? Was there an aha moment, or did it just happen progressively over time? Like oh, we'll do Friday and then Thursday. We kind of got forced into it. Okay. So um, the only reason we moved was because the building we were in was for sale and it was going to be demolished 
And the owner of the building was great, made it easy for us to go, um, very flexible, and uh, gave us lots of warning. Sure. So, and then when we were shopping for a new place, we found this spot on Lynn Haven, and we said, well, it's a choice. Either do another small shop or go for it and have events and do something bigger. So we went for it. So We did expand to a warehouse in, in between there, too, though, which was nice because uh, we kind of outgrew. We had our, our production room was like 8 feet by 15 foot or 15 foot long. By I made a lot of wine in that closet. It was tiny. And, and then yeah, it was just tiny space. And so we kind of outgrew that, ended up in a warehouse just down the road from here off of Seahawk and uh, had a whole other licensing process yeah. and demo process there. And that was nice to increase production. I don't even remember that anymore. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, you think about it, you, you, most commercial spaces and warehouses aren't designed for a winery necessarily, right? right. You kind of have to adapt and modify it, like as you mentioned to Josh earlier, just adapting the space and building it up to what exactly you need. Most buildings it aren't even zoned for it. Mm -hmm. What, what kind of zoning does, is it? Is it just commercial space or do you have to have no, a certain zoning within zoning it? No, specific zoning that we are allowed to be in and then we still had to do the special use permit to be here. Yeah, we got oh, lucky gotcha. on the first space. They, so we, we found out years later when we did this space that... Oh, let me interrupt you. Shalita, what you got there? And I'll show the camera right there. There you go. Say hi. <laughs> Okay, so we have Pirates Glen, and then we also have the Surfside Strawberry. All right. I know what you want. Yeah. I, I am I still working one. on my glass, but I really appreciate it. Thank you, you learn so much. Yeah, I, I know. I, I will well, definitely you work on it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome. You are I'll come back for you. That sounds great. I will definitely. <laughs> and for those of you listening, it's it's encouraged to to partake in the wine and to continue to partake because that is part of the vibe here of just hanging out, having a great time, well, and mean, chatting with yeah, folks. Yeah, that's what's happening. If you look in the tasting room, like there's fellowship at every table happening right now. Like this is families getting together, friends getting together. Yeah. Actually, that one table back there, you can't see it in the video. Um, they did not come together, but they know each other. So the minute the two couples saw each other, right. the one one person says, "Hey, I'll get a bottle. Y'all want to sit down?" And they've been here for over an hour now. So oh my just, goodness! You know, getting together, talking, and they didn't even plan it. So I, that happens I love a that. lot. Where I people love they run into each other, they know each other, and they're like, "Well, let's get a bottle and and hang out and talk for a couple hours." And yeah, it's really nice. That's incredible. And, yeah. and I know we we reserved a table here for the Discover Virginia Beach Facebook group. Got a few folks there. Link it up. Oh, is um, that who that is? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They yeah, just they yeah. were. I was like, you guys come out, check well, it look, out. They're over there sharing a bottle too, and I see some wine tastings on that table. I love that. So they they're having a good time. Yeah, hey guys. <laughs> So, oh, yeah. Man. Definitely go and check out the live yeah, the, video. That's what the vibe is, though. Yeah. The vibe on, our, on an average day in here is that very chill, very, we're hanging out and we're enjoying ourselves. It's never really rowdy. Like, that's why we have the kids' corner and people bring their children. Yeah, let's talk about the kids' corner because <laughs> I, I came, I was trying to pitch Marie this idea of the podcast, and I have our, our six year old, and I was just like, um, I don't know where you should go. Just come hold my hand. And we walk in and immediately, Maria, pick us up from there. What, what did you do next? I said, well, just show him Kids Corner. He'll hang out there and give you all the time you need. There is a literal Kids Corner of not just, uh, we're not just talking like, you know, Lincoln Logs and stuff. We have a full selection of probably five years worth of the top model toys. Uh, th thanks to Maria over here, uh, repurposing it for the kiddos. Yes. A space for parents to, you know, if you want to bring your little kiddos. It's not enclosed, which is good, but it is away from, as you mentioned, the entrances, right? Yeah, but you, you can see keep the corner from every point in the room. So the parents yeah. can enjoy themselves and they can see their children and their children can see them. And it's, it, it's very routine when a, when a young child is brought in here with mom or dad or whoever. As soon as they see that corner, they know it's for them. Yeah, absolutely. And they run for it. And um, they rarely leave that corner once they get started because other kids' toys are the best toys. Yes. And so, you know, the, it's fine. Like, that's what they're for. And the kids love it. My kid loves it when he's here. It's all his old stuff that he said he didn't want anymore. <laughs> and then he comes in here and he says, oh, I forgot about this. And then he'll sit there and play with it for 20 minutes. You know, <laughs> he plays with it more here than he ever did at home. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's true, though. And so... Um, Everyone really likes having that here, and the children like it, and it just makes it a lot more comfortable. Yeah. Uh, when we made, when we moved here, Josh and I had the intention of making sure our whole family could be comfortable, 
And so we've got things here that are custom just because we have a young boy that have a big TV and an Xbox in the office. And a futon. And a futon. And he, you know, just stuff that makes it more comfortable for him. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That is incredible. And just, you know, having that space, you know, available to take your kid to work is mm -hmm. very you know, to the traditional workplace maybe seems uncommon, but in the entrepreneurial journey is essential, you know, for continuing to grow and hustle and especially that, those early years. Can you walk us through the transition to the new space? Maybe share and highlight. Oh, hey, Shalita. Hey, how are you? Oh, Joe needs wine. Yeah. Oh, yes, may, I, may I please have, what do we have here? Serve Satch. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds great. I knew you would like it. And I have Blackbeard's Barrel. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know the way to her heart. <laughs> His too. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. You are welcome. I mean, isn't this the way to, I know the way to my heart? I know the way to your heart and mine too. Is that okay? <laughs> is a red? Yes. Blackbeard is. Oh, yeah. Blackbeard yeah. wine. Love I it. know you like the sweet wine, so she's. I, I do. I'm, I'm more of a sweet the, kind of yeah, wine I, person. You told Absolutely. me that the other day, so she's bringing you sweet <laughs> wine. On top of it. I love that, Maria. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, like the entrepreneurial journey, you've got to have space to kind of expand and fluctuate. So, like, whenever you were transitioning to the new space, um, you obviously have more room for yes. a kid's corner, not just, um, you know, quite frankly, a, a tasting room. You know, you kind of have more space yes. to to hang out and be a part of it. What are some of the events that folks uh, can, can uh, possibly look out for when they are considering making uh, you know, a trip to your winery? All of our events are always listed on our website, bbwinery.com. Josh is an excellent software engineer. Our, we have probably the best small business website in the city because of this guy. And so those are all there. It's the easiest website to find if you Google Virginia Beach and winery. And it's always at the top. And the events are always listed. Um, the top events that we have on a regular basis, for example, in December. Are you going to air this in December? Um, not, it will be airing. Right now it's airing. I'll have it on the yeah. Facebook group. But for the uh, for the podcast, it's going to be later on in January. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, for example, yeah. here in December, um, two nights, two Thursdays this month, um, Bachata Vita Dance Company will be popping up with a Latin dance night. Uh, two Friday nights this month, we will have karaoke. Two nights this month, we will have um, paint and sip. One morning this month, we're going to have yoga in the winery. Uh, those are the heavy hitters. Oh, wow. Uh, other than like some small, we have some like small rentals for Christmas parties that's and a, things that's like that. That's a week worth of events right there spread out throughout the month. That's uh, incredible. That's, those are the heavy hitters for one month. Yeah. That's one month. And so like it's usually every weekend there's two to three events throughout the weekend starting about Thursday night because Bachata is always here on Thursday yes mm -hmm. and so um, January is already almost fully booked so um, I just don't know it off the top of my head to That's tell everybody okay. now the link will be in the description on the below website, and on the website it is a beautiful website um, and yes it's made by this guy right here our family as well um, so we don't farm that out like he's doing all of that as well and so, because Josh is working on a lot of small business solutions as far as software is concerned, and because now that we've been using Square and we've been entrepreneurs, he's working on small software things that um, can be sold through Square sure. that are solutions for small business problems. I love so that. I love we're that. We're using the winery as a way to launch things like that that. Um, you know, will be a revenue stream as well. Yeah, Josh, I'd love to hear from you. Are there any uh, products or services within the winery in addition to the events tab that you'd like to highlight? Or maybe where folks can go to, uh, you know, possibly purchase some merch or some, uh, tell them about the some first one Virginia Beach out. Winery you have? Sure. Uh, wine glasses? Yeah, uh, I guess the, right now we have a wine club that I built. Uh, so people can sign up for our wine club online, use the Square subscription stuff. So it's uh, um, $40 a month, you get 40 Reward points, which is basically forty dollars towards stuff here, and you get twenty percent off all the time when you're here. Oh wow! Uh, and so that's a solution that I want to offer to other companies that don't have it quite ready for that. Uh, and then I'm actively working on a delivery app that I built for us during COVID. Uh, so when everything shut down, we couldn't 
uh, I had quit my job right before that uh, to work on the winery, and then everything shut down, and we couldn't do wine tasting. Did or... you get the new space before COVID, or was that during COVID? During, during COVID. Oh this happened gosh. to us during COVID. We when had they to were move. selling the build, yeah. building, and we're like, hey, you got to go to the warehouse and find another space. Correct. Right. And so we couldn't do any tastings. People oh couldn't come gosh. in there for a while. Everything shut down. Thankfully, long before that, I wanted to do wine delivery. It was always a dream of mine. And we already had the delivery license ready, and then everything <laughs> shut down, so I built us a uh, delivery app and started doing delivery, pure delivery. And so now that's what I'm trying to build for us to, to uh, offer to other companies now. I love that. Other other wineries or other companies? Any, any, in general? Any company. It's sort okay. of a, a niche kind of thing. So, like, you have your Grubhub and Uber Eats and all those sure, things yeah. where you have to use their drivers. But for stuff like this, you'll be able to use your own drivers like we do right now. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Yeah, there's only a handful of people that have the app he built during COVID. Um, I have it. The couple of employees we have that have helped us with deliveries. And when somebody orders a delivery on Square, you know, on our website through Square, we all get a notification through his app who wants this delivery. Like, boom. Just like that. Oh, so wow. he built that software. And so it's for a small business... If you that's incredible, yes, you choose who has it. it. Yes, 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 yes. And then you cut the middleman out. You cut Grubhub out, and you keep all of that money. Well, I mean, nobody wants to pay those exorbitant fees. Not to get on a tangent there, but there, you know, you you can yeah. Yeah, can kind of come Not with the software everybody territory. Everybody can pay those fees, right? That's yeah. the thing. They want to be available through delivery. They want to be able to offer. So you, you don't have to deliver every day all the time. Sure. They want to offer it, but they can't afford those fees. Well, if you have your own software and you can get the information to the right people and actually connect the customer with the driver, then boom. There you go. You're going to. So call Maria, call Josh, get your Virginia Beach bl- it's uh, all, that's all Josh. Your, your I'm not a, treasure I don't do code software. right there. So, no. <laughs> I but. love that. That is phenomenal. So I mean you guys are, are making strides on, you know, the tech side and also the wine side. I'd love to kind of dive into maybe some of your more popular wines. Sure. Would you mind sharing what those are? You're drinking And then, right of now. course, uh, how you kind of came about. Obviously, we'll keep the secret recipe, the secret recipe, but any, um, you know, ideas for, you know, possibly inspiration or maybe when the idea came to you, we'd love to, love to hear that story from you. Are you drinking strawberry? I believe so. Strawberry, yeah, yes. The strawberry. That, I got that recipe from my cousin. A lot of my recipes came from my cousin first. She taught me. Um, and then as I did wine more in the larger tanks then you just get ideas what was yeah. it was it it was during covid you wanted a mango flavor yeah. so we found the mango flavoring we said and i talked I, it, it happened in a conversation so everyone um our merman's mango is very popular it's mango flavored moscato mango is slept on it's mango it's always delicious. it's always everyone slept loves on. it yeah it's great so great. that's why it's sold out because i can't make it fast <laughs> enough and so he wanted a mango flavor, and I'm going, okay. So I call my cousin up because if I'm coming up with ideas, she's, like I said, the mothership. So sure. I call her usually, and we have a conversation. And I'm like, this is what I want to do. And she, she was the one that said, that's going to pair well with a Moscato. And she goes, I would do this, 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 and that. And I was like, oh, I think that'll work. And in about a 15-minute conversation later, I ordered the stuff to do it, and we made it. And um, it came out really nice. And we launched it during COVID. The, the winery was closed and not allowed to be open. Sure. It was all Most delivery. Most businesses were. I mean, Virginia was very firm on that. And, our, and that. God bless our customers. We launched it. We were bottling it. And it was so good. And we were enjoying it so much. Do you remember that day? I'll never I, forget that day. Yeah. And so we took <laughs> pictures of it. And we put it on our Facebook page. Hey, this is available right now. And... He and I both were delivering wine that night till 10 p.m. Oh, wow. I crazy. bought my son two Happy Meals because he was in the car seat in the back. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's dinner time now. You want some more McDonald's? We got like four more deliveries. And we delivered all night. Like, we went through half of the Mango Moscato that first day. And it was, it it was, was incredible. The, the love that our customers in this town gave us that day, I'll never forget it. I, I, it was I incredible. That. And, that, and they, none of them had tasted it. This was during COVID. They did not get a chance to come in and see, like here for five bucks, you can sample things and make sure you love it first. Yeah. Yeah. You sample it before you leave with a bottle in this place. Like we want to make sure you like it before you pay money for a bottle. And that day they just went on faith that based on what they'd had before, they were like, this is going to be good. Yeah. And they bought it. Wow. And 
Oh my God, we were tired that day. <laughs> it was not great, one, though. I'm not too happy meals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was it was incredible. So it was like a reunion. I was seeing all of my regular customers I hadn't seen in months because of COVID. Because sure. I was literally dropping off wine at their door. I love that, and the, yeah. the sense of community that you built obviously is felt. I mean, we've just been doing some some uh, you know photo shoots and some videos, you know, for for the live stream that we're preparing for, and it just everybody has the sense of camaraderie the sense of this is our this is my second place this is where we like to go hang out and maria maria and chris are amazing they're all, they're amazing people it this is not just our place anymore like most of the people in there it's they call it their winery like good, <laughs> good luck telling them it's not so um the people who have been with us for a long time they take a lot of ownership yeah and from a marketing perspective you can't do any better than that no, absolutely not. So that that's, you know, the sense of community that's in here right now is just wonderful. Yeah. Like you can always feel the love when you're in here. I'm curious, has the, com and I'm curious in what ways has the, the community here as it's a built and adapted over time, has there been any instances that you can think of or examples where they've actually influenced the way in which you operate or, or perform or, uh, you know, uh, Offer your services. We within listen. The business? We listen to um, everyone who shops with us a lot, and it does come up in our conversations about how to do things moving forward. Yeah. Um, I can't think of anything specific. Karaoke. Where, was that a customer recommendation? It was, wasn't yep, it? People karaoke. Kept, kept, kept asking, asking for karaoke. karaoke. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, yep. So we we listen. We just we don't react right away sure everything's usually thought we think it through and, and make sure it's going to work out and you know um even with karaoke we said we'd do it three times and then decide if we want to keep it going <laughs> well they showed us keep it going oh so i love we, that so now it's twice a month guaranteed plus guaranteed. i look forward to singing every time too, yeah, so. yeah. i was about to say chris i've heard stories i've heard stories and maybe maybe a few videos of you dancing on tables around i don't know <laughs> may or may not be on the facebook live stream i don't know but what is that Josh doesn't dance on tables, but. For <laughs> <laughs> you know who, I have common area. Oh, or you know who. Mama. Oh, I know. I know. I got you. So Son of a Peach is a fun one that, that we, when we named, we always have fun naming them, but that one we were trying to come up with a name for a peach wine, and we were like, yeah, maybe like Beach Peach, and we noticed that one of the other wineries in the area had one called My, My Beach Peach or something. Something like that. And I yelled out, Son of a Peach! And that's what we came up with. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I think that's one of the first ones I actually had back at your Newtown location. We were doing the wine tastings, it's which I love. Around from the beginning, I'd love to highlight that next. If you guys don't mind sharing, no, what, what does the wine tasting entail? What does it look sure. like? Sure. And, uh, what's the price actually? Associated? Shalita's right here. Shalita, look at the camera. Yeah. Can can, can, can this pick up on her? Absolutely. Yeah. Just oh, move this Shalita over. Works okay. here. Yes, I do. So how do, how does it work if they come if they come visit you to have a wine tasting? You I come know. see me. I, it got loud just It did. Because they're, they're having a good time. Um, they were playing Uno over there, and everybody's having a good time. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what happens if someone comes to see you to have a so wine tasting? So you come see me, and I'm so happy to see you because you came to see me. Um, I know y'all come for the wine, but I know you really come to see me, and it's okay. <laughs> so you come in. You can have a seat at the bar with me, which I would love if you do that. If not, you can definitely pick a table, bring in your food, or order something from Foodies. Fine with that. Um, and it is a $5 tasting. You get to sample six wines. Right now, we have a mulled wine that is a winner winner. I got. I need some more. We'll get more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, the mulled wine is great right now, so you can try that, as well as we have two slushies. Today we have a strawberry mango peach and a signature red, and then any of the other 19 wines that we have um, featured. 19? Yes, really? we have 19. There's 19 in stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there's I'm 19. I'm so close to all of them in stock. It's <laughs> funny. I can't quite hit it though. Hey, kiddo. <laughs> Hi. We have some super fun kids jumping through the yeah. window right now. Whole families come. I love that. They yeah. They can yeah. even bring their pets. Yep. It's pet friendly as well. Yes. We're pet friendly. Friendly. Oh, love it. Mm -hmm. Dog as friendly. As long as they're on yeah. a leash. Mm -hmm. Cats, it's fine. As long as they're on a leash, sure. it's okay. I know there's a guy in the north end. He owns an iguana. Mm -hmm. Is that something? I haven't seen it. 
You know what? I will, I'm only going to draw the line at snakes. Don't bring in snakes. Snakes. In here. That's fair. Yeah, yeah you can. No, yeah. no snakes. Yeah. Maria fair. can't handle snakes. <laughs> but we did have birds in here that one time. We had Remember a bird. We had she birds? Had, um, she was she a, had a, it was a, a backpack. backpack. And she had bird. two little birdies. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Animal friendly. I love it. As long yeah. as you're on lease and contained. Well, the, Virginia changed the law on that a couple of years ago. Well, sure. breweries and wineries, is, if you're not a restaurant, you can be dog friendly. Right. So, yeah. yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, and, and we bring our dog here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so... Is that Garner? Is, yeah. is he ready? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Does Garner want to do his part? Is, um, or is he, he just, still nervous? He just wanted to step in for a minute, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. yeah, that that's the MVP over there. That's double double Happy Meals. Is that him? That's him right oh, here. Oh, my double goodness. Happy Meal right there. <laughs> Our yeah, nearly five foot tall seven-year-old. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Well... Obviously, there's a, there's a great sense of community, and I know you guys got to get back to sharing wine, so I'd love to kind of wrap this up sure. here with you. Um, so when it comes to the future of Virginia Beach Winery, are there any ideas or any possible hints of a secret that we could maybe get in on of what folks can likely oh, expect? Oh, do you want to know about a secret? Yes, let's hear <laughs> about a secret. I need to get my kid in here if you want to know about a secret. Hey, come on. All right. Wait. Secret message from what's what's his name? Garner. Garner. Yep. Secret message from Garner. No, I'm good. Come hey, G. Garner. Hey, G man. Stay. Stay. They want to know about secrets. They, he wants to know if there's a secret. To wine this camera, this out. camera. Any secret wines? Um, there is one. Um, me and my mom have been working about on this. It's called Blendberry. Blendberry. Yeah. It it mix it mixes with strawberry, raspberry, and watermelon. Oh my goodness, that sounds phenomenal. Yeah. Is that gonna be here? Two, show him, our, is that the first two parts right there? Oh, yeah. For the blendberry? Show them where it's at. Show them where it's at. Yeah, the two first parts are right here. Yeah, the third part's almost done, babe. Okay. And then the we're gonna blend it and make a new done. wine, right? Was that your idea? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Garner's blendberry. So that's that's, that's blendberry. a great idea. So, it, yeah. so it's his first wine idea, so we're making it. Wow. Thank you. So our seven-year-old came up with an idea, and we're we're making it happen. And if it tastes good, we will get a legal label and get it, and we'll sell it. That's incredible! Congratulations yeah. to you, Garter. Very I'm excited to try it. Yes. Good job. <laughs> good job, dude. Go ahead. Your friends want to say bye to you. Go yeah. ahead. It's time to go back to the kids' yeah. corner. Yes. <laughs> oh wow! Wow. Yeah. So there's 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 a little secret hint that we are working on um, a new wine. Uh, it's inspired by our son, and um, I actually do think it's a good idea. And so um, we're we're at, we're making it right now. That's and so incredible. if it turns out the way we think it's going to turn out, we will go through the process with the government to have it um, legal for sale, and we will sell Garner's Blendberry. Wow, <laughs> that is awesome! Yeah. Very very excited for that. That is a super big secret. We appreciate you sharing yeah, nobody, that. The, 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 <laughs> Nobody knows about that, so. All righty. <laughs> there it is. Well, we really, really do appreciate that. And thank you guys for your time. No, thank um, you. We're going to be moving into our last section, our rapid fire section. Oh, God. These questions are quick and fast. <laughs> Feel free to answer with as much or as little detail as you want. Let me take a I sip didn't here. I know about this. All right. Let's lighten the mood a little bit. Favorite wine to relax with? Blackbeard's Barrel. Merlot. Love it. Beach time or water park adventure? Water park. Beach time. <laughs> Which beach? It depends on who I'm with. Let's and say. Beach or water park depends on who I'm with because if I'm with my kid, the water park all day. <laughs> so. Fair point. Yeah. Fair point. When it comes to a special occasion, do you prefer red or white wine? Depends on what I'm eating. I'm red. Let's say we're just having uh, some little nibbles, some little snacks. Red. Red? Okay. A dream location for a vineyard. If you have a vineyard anywhere in the world, where would you have it? I am not a farmer. That is not what I dream about, my dear. <laughs> How about a facility or, or somewhere you can go and create? This is more than I ever dreamed for. Really? Right here. This amount of space, everything, this is perfect. I don't need more than this. I this love it. This is great. I don't need any more. I'm in the heart of Virginia Beach. From anywhere in the city, we're easy. We're an easy drive. It's perfect. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, love that, Maria. 
Do you guys prefer making uh, wine? Do you tend to make wine more early in the morning, late at night, or does it kind of just depend? <laughs> when do you make wine, Josh? Uh, never anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I used to help with the winemaking. What do you uh, do? You do it at night usually, right? I do. When you can get a load? To no, hold on, hold on. That's a mixed bag answer. <laughs> if I have insomnia in the middle of the night. Okay. Because uh, it helps me fall asleep. If um, And sometimes I wake up really, really early and I am ready to roll. And I'll just come in here in my sweats and make wine for a couple of hours. So just get it, started. It's, it's a mood thing with me. Sure. Uh, it's not a, oh, I have to. It's a, I feel like it. Let's go. And yeah. usually I get it all made with those moments. So I don't, there's no plans time. But yeah, if you drive by Lynn Haven Parkway and it's. 3 a.m. and the lights are on. That's me. Making wine. <laughs> What's one word to describe the Virginia Beach winery experience? You could sum it all up in one word. Family. Y- yummy. <laughs> yummy and family. I love it. <laughs> exclusive. Mutually exclusive. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, a hobby or two that you guys enjoy uh, for yourself ind- independently when you're, when you're not uh, at the winery making wine? Go ahead. I like jujitsu. Yeah. I do jujitsu a couple times a week. Um, I'm I'm a pretty avid dancer now. Okay. Uh, with bachata vida, so they got me sucked in. So I that's dance. the Latin group that comes yeah. so on I, Thursdays. I, I go. Thursday I nights? dance with them twice twice a week usually. <laughs> so even when they're not here. Yep. That is so much yeah, fun. Yeah, I love it. Love I can't that. live without it. Well, Josh, uh, Maria, thank you so much for this incredible conversation. I'd love to roll out the red carpet for you guys, but I believe we have one more sample before we get going. Well, show them, Shalita, what you got there. Is that Malbec? Malbec. Yes, ma'am, oh. it is. Yes, let, me try yes. some, let me try some Malbec. Let oh, try what? Some. You know what? Let's, you know what? You've, got, you've got me thinking about red wines oh, and yes, celebrations. Yes. And that is the- I'll just give you. The only one we're That's, That's perfect. I'll just have a little Enjoy sip. Enjoy yourself. Huh? Are you still using a heavy French oak on that one? Heavy what? French oak. Yeah, dark French oak. That's the only one still. we use a heavy French no, oak. No, I use a dark French oak on Vino de Bacheteros, too. Oh, yeah. That's right, the Bacheteros. Yeah. yeah. You said that like way that? better Would than you like that? Now? I've been coached. I don't know what she said. Because <laughs> I was saying it wrong. I heard wine. So, well, we named, we, we did a label after. Thank you. After the Latin dancing um, company that oh, wow. Bachata Vida. Um, because we've been doing business with them for over two years. Yeah. And so uh, we collaborated with them. Uh, the label has elements from their logo. It's in honor of the people that they come here several times a month and spend money with us and uh, support us as a business. And they really make this event fantastic. So the last, I mean, it was the least we could do was do one wine in honor of them. Yeah. And so the one of the owners... Um, of the company because there, there, there's uh, it's a partnership okay. uh, for Bachata Vida. One of the owners helped us design the wine that is named in honor of that group. And so, yeah, so that's it right there. See, that those are elements from their logo. Love it. So so that logo is very similar to the logo for their dance company. And we in honor running. of the winery. Oh, in honor of the, of the dance company, you even and have and your own blend. And the group and the dancers and the people who have literally been with us now for over two years. Yeah. And so it's it's a beautiful business partnership where we collaborate and work together and it's mutually beneficial and everyone has a great time. Making it happen yes. since, since, since you started, since starting a new facility. It's incredible. Yes, exactly. They've been with us for more than two years now. We had wanted to do a Cabernet Sauvignon for a long time too, which was a perfect opportunity to, yeah. to do our first one. It was one of the most requested wines that I wasn't making. And so we were ready to get started on it and then... The one of the owners um, had an idea and, for this, and we said this is the way to do it. We do the cab, and we do it in honor of this group who has, you know, really blessed us over the years. And yeah, yeah. Well, you have a fantastic product and a fantastic wine. I'm loving that red. It's a little darker, what? but you know what? I think Just I think, think that's steak when you drink it, you'll be better. Steak. I, that's think a good. That's a good. That's a good thing it. to think about. Some steaks, a medium rare steak, or one of those cigars. Yeah, or one of the cigars. Yeah, definitely check out the long form video for the cigar uh, spotlight. Um, we'd love to roll out the red carpet for you guys. This is your time to share any special projects, any final messages to the audience. The floor is all yours. The floor is all ours. Well, I'll just say, don't be a stranger. Like, we're here every weekend. We're here all week long. 
So, so come visit and hang out with us. We're, we always have a good time. You can see it behind us. Like Everyone's having a great time. It's a nice time. crowd here today. It's yeah. a good day. Absolutely. We're so, here seven days a week, 12 to 5 yeah. most days. It's awesome. Yeah. It, it's as simple as that. We make wine, we sell wine, and, and this is what happens every day in here. Is It's just fun. So Tuesday didn't quite look like this. <laughs> Tuesday's quieter, yeah. That's Everybody's at work. A okay. For maybe someone wanting to try it out, maybe if they're not into the big crowds. If you're Tuesday. off on Tuesday, you will have all the attention of the bartender. <laughs> yes. Love yeah. it, love it. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for this wonderful thank conversation. And thank of course, you. thank you to our listeners for checking out another episode of Discover Virginia yes. Beach Podcast. We'll see you on another episode.